What's up? How are you guys today? By far the question I get asked the most is, Frank, how do I heal my eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis? Whether it's dry, flaky skin affecting a person's appearance, like really red, irritated, inflamed skin that's severely itchy, it seems to be a common issue. And the reason people aren't able to fix this is because the modern conventional wisdom, doctors are treating this topically, externally, where they're giving you like a retinoid cream, some type of steroidal cream, when the problem is from your gut issues, inside, internally. And you know, they don't really have a profitable way to fix your insides yet, so they're not going to do that. But you know, I had acne for years and years when I was younger, all the external stuff never worked. You know, only in these past few years, I have finally figured out how to fix my acne skin issues, which can also be applied to people that have psoriasis, eczema, or dermatitis. So there's three steps to this, the diet, the gut health, and the sun UVB exposure. However, depending on the severity of your skin issues, you might have to do all of these, you might have to just do one of these, but it's, it's really easy to just follow this protocol for several weeks, apply all three of these things, and then after your skin's fixed, you know, you can mess it up again if you really want to. But uh, most people are not in a like damaged enough state to get really, really, really strict. But you know, there are a lot of people that are so upset with their skin or their health issues that they are willing to do this because it is pretty strict. So with the diet, you have to follow a strict elimination protocol and, and this is probably the biggest deal because it might not fix the skin on its own initially but will 100% fix the skin over a course of several weeks to months. So the removal of basically any inflammatory to mildly inflammatory food eggs, dairy, high anti-nutrient fruits and vegetables, you know, the more colorful, the worse it generally is, seafood, which is very polluted, animal fats, which increase bile excretion from the liver, you want the diet to be pretty low fat, as well as organ meats, which just like shellfish can store a lot of environmental toxins, like grain-fed beef liver is very, very, very bad, and also kind of just high fats in general. So that macronutrient ratio is specifically Moderate protein, sometimes low protein at the start if your gut's really messed up, that's for your cellular health. Getting in the B vitamins, the amino acids, the cholesterol, all the stuff we need. Low fat for liver detox, we've spoken about that a lot on this channel. And then you fill in with organic carbohydrates for high gut motility, feeding the gut bacteria and keeping things moving. This is the meal that I've been following for a few years now, guys. You see it in basically every day of eating. There's a bit of variety to it. Number two being the gut health, you need to eradicate candida and repopulate the probiotic bacteria. Because in almost every single circumstance I've seen, 100% of them, someone ever sends me like a gut microbiome profile, it's usually the same. You know, the yeast or like the negative gram bacteria are pretty high. And this is one thing that might fix the skin on its own, just taking a probiotic, which is pretty, I guess, minimally invasive from a time investment perspective. And again, depending on how bad your problem is, the dysbiosis, how imbalanced your gut is, you might need a very extreme and consistent antimicrobial regimen. So whether that's mastic gum or doing like the oregano oil berberine, candida cleanse stuff, Maybe that has to be done for a day or two, and then you have to be really strict with the Masticum for every meal. If you guys are unfamiliar with Masticum, just search Frank Tefano Masticum. We have it available on organsupplements.com. It's basically something that will keep the yeast out, keep the gut balanced, keep digestion moving without being too inflammatory to the liver. Because if you are using those things like oregano oil and stuff every day, you might be causing more harm than good to your liver and skin health. If that is necessary, then you reintroduce the probiotic bacteria using water kefir. You might be able to just do the water kefir and the probiotics off the bat, which is what I usually recommend, but there's no other option, unfortunately, from an effective probiotic perspective besides water kefir. So whether you guys get the water kefir grains from me on Frankie's Free Range Foods or make it yourself or buy my water kefir, you need it. 
I've said this more than anything else over these past two years, that water kefir is the sole most important thing in fixing my gut health. And now that I feel better and that I've repopulated the probiotic bacteria, I don't even really need it as much anymore. But this is a really big thing that people overlook because if you have candida, if you have dysbiosis and you start following a new diet and you don't see immediate results, then people usually throw in the towel, they give up and say, oh, hey, this isn't working, so now I'm just not going to do the diet and they, and they just give up. So the probiotics, in a sense, on their own might be more effective than the diet on its own, but you need both of them to be sustainable long term. Number three, the sun UVB, is to recycle and heal the skin. And the sun is natural damage to skin, which increases the turnover, you know, forces your cells to heal, and it also helps detox the liver, use up certain nutrients, and expel more toxins. I would say the skin healing is accelerated by at least three or four fold, I've noticed. And in those more extreme circumstances, this is going to help a lot more from a physical appearance perspective. So let's say you did all of this, you know, I, I would say it would take two weeks max for your skin to clear up. But, you know, for me, you know, if I get acne or a breakout or I deviate from my protocol, you know, if I'm not tanning or getting some sun, it could take a week, a week and a half for my skin to fully clear up and look normal. However, if I'm in the sun, two or three days. It, it really, really does help. So if you guys have been trying to fix any of these skin related issues and you haven't addressed all of these things, I mean, honestly, I've never heard of anyone adhering to this protocol and it not fixing everything because of how strict it is and how it addresses any sort of internal problem that could ever happen. So as I've said several times, depending on the severity of your health issues, you know, following each of these things and figuring these out might be a little bit difficult but I think I've given you guys all the information and all the tools you need to do so. So if you do want to support me, you guys can go to frank stefanocom where you will see all of my businesses, Frankie's Syringe Meat, where you can get some high quality animal protein to incorporate into this diet. We got the probiotics on frankiesyringefoods.com, organ supplements for the masticum. And as always guys, I'm wearing my Wi-Fi shielding protection clothing. And this should probably be in the gut health section because it's a pretty big factor on making sure your digestion is working properly. And the environmental radiation and EMF can be a sole catalyst in destroying gut health. So you might actually need to wear protective clothing made out of silver to shield the organs and the liver and the pancreas and the small intestine, all those digestive organs from the radiation in order to truly get better. frank guys. As always, if you can drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. I'll see you guys soon.